Hello Ghana. I warmly welcome you all to the maiden edition of the latest parliamentary program on TV, My First Time in Parliament. This program focuses on current and former members of parliament of the Fourth Republic of Ghana. We seek to bring to our cherished viewers the perception that these individuals had before becoming members of parliament. We will also find out their plans and projections and projects undertaken in their various constituencies and how the new ones are coping with the standing orders of the House. Please join me as we get into Parliament House and get started. We are now in Parliament. To kick start, we are taking you to two different constituencies in two different regions. We are going straight to the Bronga Hafo region, the Sunny East constituency, to meet Honorable Dominic Napari. He is an educationist and tells us that his main focus for the people in his constituency is education. Please stay with us. Senna East constituency shares boundaries with the Volta Lake and East Gonja district to the north, Krachi and Jasikan districts in the Volta region to the east and southeast, Kwewu North and Setra East district to the south and southwest, and Atebiwu and Amantin district to the west. Honorable Dominic Napari, MP for Senna East constituency, was born on 3rd November 1960. He hails from KJG in the Bonoa Half region and also the former DCE of Sena District. He is an educationist and has acquired management and secretarial studies in 2004. He is married with four children. When I came to Parliament, um, I was proved a little wrong of some of the perceptions. In terms of the debate on the floor of Parliament, uh, what I thought it was actually did not change so much because we, at the assembly level, we have some miniature of it. There were assembly settings where we debate issues. But here, the standing orders are rigidly uh, being followed, unlike what we do at the district level. The standing orders we have found to be a normal document which uh, we, we, we use. It's just a matter of a uh, becoming very familiar with the provisions of the standard orders. The standard orders are not too different from the provisions of the constitution. And so if you are abreast with some uh, aspects of the con uh, constitution, uh, the standard orders uh, go in line with the constitution. So we do not see so much difference. But the only issue is that you need to constantly be with it and uh, be able to uh, apply them as and when uh, the proceedings in parliament go on. When somebody makes a statement or moves a motion and you want to contribute to uh, the motion, uh, what you have to look at is that uh, whatever you say should be in line with the main statement made. Uh, you should not bring in issues that are not related to the topic in question. Uh, so uh, when you catch the speaker's eye, uh, you allow you to contribute to the statement on the floor of the house. The making a statement in Parliament uh, is not any difficult thing. You just select a topic. Uh, the topic could be uh, consensus specific or it could be a general topic uh, to the benefit of the entire country. Um, after preparing the, uh, the, the, the statement, you will send it to your leadership. I will go through to go to the Speaker's office. Uh, when he approves of it, then he will uh, give you a date to, to do the presentation. Um, so he will uh, announce when you are to do it. He will alert you, you go and then make the presentation so that others will contribute to the debate, uh, to, uh, to, to, to the statement. Initially, outside parliament, you will always think that they are at each other's throat. Um, but that happens only uh, during debates. But after that, you realize that uh, uh, parliament, uh, members of parliament are very friendly, interacting with each other doing almost everything in common. So that is uh, one of the things we thought was happening, but actually we come here and realize that, no, uh, they are very uh, friendly to each other, in spite of the uh, political uh, divide. Sunny East is a newly created uh, district and constituency as well. Uh, we are called out of a Sunny uh, under uh, Kwame Danso. Because of the distance for this capital and because of the uh, people being basically peasant farmers. There are a lot of socio-economic challenges uh, facing the people in terms of uh, education, health, and then uh, agric. The 
educational standards are not very good to our, our liking and we've been striving to improve upon it. When I was at DC, a lot of things uh, were, were, were done and uh, basically the situation was getting uh, much better. But there's still a lot more to be done. Uh, in terms of health, uh, we don't have enough health facilities, especially in the remote areas. We need at least uh, chip compounds or chip centers uh, to serve the people in terms of uh, their health needs. Uh, in the same way, the people are basically farmers, and uh, uh, they are peasant farmers, uh, as I put it. So they need some form of support to uh, mechanize their farming and increase their yields. So these are the issues. But the major constraint that is uh, bringing about all these problems is that uh, accessibility to most of our communities uh, it's not very good, so we don't have access roads to our communities. Even when you look at the main district capital, which is KJG, assessing it from uh, Atibubu, Kwame Danso to KJG, the road is not very good. And that in itself scares people from accepting postings or coming there uh, to work. So these are some of the challenges we are facing uh, in the area. First and foremost, in terms of education, we are having a lot of stakeholder meetings with the Ghana Education Service. Uh, and then other stakeholders in education to see how we can improve upon it. As an MP, uh, most of my little resources I will get will also go into supporting those who are really in need and uh, do not have people to support them in terms of education. Uh, additionally, we are lobbying the authorities that be to help us construct uh, educational facilities like classrooms and uh, teachers' courtesies for teachers to feel comfortable and then uh, and teach. We were also talking to some other NGOs who are into ICT uh, development to see how they can uh, also introduce some uh, modern ICT technologies to uh, our schools. We are also in touch with the Department of Hidaros uh, to see uh, how they can also help open up the area to uh, farmers to bring in their farm produce after harvesting to the marketing centers. About 45 to 50 percent of the people are into uh, fishing. This, uh, river and lake fishing. Uh, we've been in constant uh, discussion with them as to some of the things that uh, they will need and it came out that uh, as usual they need uh, fishing nets, uh, outboard motors and uh, other forms of support. When uh, Parliament uh, uh, rose uh, the last session, uh, we went back to the constituency uh, to go around all communities in the constituency. In fact, uh, about 95% of the communities have been covered. Going back to explain to them how Parliament works and the procedures we uh, go through in Parliament and how we assess uh, projects to the to the uh, constituency. And uh, you see, hitherto some of them just thought that once you win and you come to Parliament, the next day whatever they they want, uh, you can uh, provide all to them. But it's a gradual process. So we've gone around to explain to them uh, the process and procedures of uh, 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 securing support and projects to the constituency. So we are in touch with them. They are understanding us that uh, they need to be patient uh, so that as time goes on, we will we'll be trying to see how we can uh, meet their, their needs. Of course, there's also a role they also have to play. Uh, in areas where they need to come together as groups, they need to, 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 to be advised to come together as groups. Uh, if they are to open some accounts with some banks for us to uh, assess credit for them to expand their businesses. That, that is also uh, things we are discussing with them. For some years back, almost about 10, 15 years back, we didn't have this Pantu plan. It had run down and uh, all effort to get it uh, a new one replaced was uh, a problem. Uh, but thank God, uh, with the support of our late president, uh, Professor Mills, initiated the, uh, the manufacture of a new pantoon and uh, fortunately for us, uh, the new pantoon was uh, brought to us by the current president, uh, uh, His Excellency John Mahama. So we have a pantoon across therefore to Kitikrachi, which goes twice a day, morning and then uh, evening. So we can transport very big trucks across the two regions. Uh, the only problem is that the Pantu crosses from therefore to Krachi. So in going to other island communities, you need to use outboard motors and then uh, uh, canoes, which sometimes is very, very 
are dangerous, especially in the rainy season like this, when we have uh, rainstorms and uh, uh, violent uh, uh, weather condition. It has never been very good. We thank them very much for having confidence in us and uh, voting for us to represent them in Parliament. Uh, we assure them of uh, our loyalty and commitment to helping them to develop. Uh, we only appeal to them to remain um, uh, calm and uh, patient for us. Once work in, in Parliament and in, in government is a, is, a, is a gradual process and we assure them that we are committed to their cause and we are together and will continue our work to see how we can improve upon our uh, living conditions. So once again, I congratulate them for uh, the, all the support they have given us. Malaria, we're drawing a time herbal mixture. And you're not cool, the animal to a one to me any deal. We're drawing a time herbal mixture, a dray. What bar of fell through, do a mark or down for any aqua when you feel doom, you know, win to me and no a dray be. Kayo, set time on a T I M E. Time herbal mixture, a fee, malaria fever, be a dummy ziba, a woman to be swapped. Hmm, look what they are Oh, this generator is off again. I just bought a generator for this house. You see, these generators are not good. Buy green power generator. You never listen to me. What we need in this house is green power generator. Thank you so much, my brother. Thank you so much. There you go, folks. Green power generators uses gas. It has longer engine life than others. They are free from carbon monoxide, no fuel blockage, very economical, and above all, is environmentally friendly. We have in stock industrial, commercial and domestic generators. For distribution, purchases and installation, contact First Green Energy Generators on 020-7711-877 or 0244-987-333. First Green Energy Generators, energy for innovation. Welcome back from the break. Thank you for staying with us. This program is supported by Time Herbal Mixture for effective treatment of malaria. Welcome back. This is our question segment and is proudly brought to you by Tea Best Drink, available in any supermarket near you. The question of the day is, who was the first Speaker of Parliament of the Fourth Republic of Ghana? Please send your answers to the number on your screen. We now head to the central region to the Commander Edina Eguafu Ebrim constituency to meet Honorable Dr. Stephen Nana Ato Atta, the MP for the area. Honorable Dr. Stephen Nana Ato Atta tells us that on improving the lives of his people, he will tackle unemployment through education, farming, and a lot more. Commander Edina Eguafu Ebrim constituency has Elmina as its capital and is bounded on the south by the Atlantic Ocean, to the east by the Cape Coast Metropolitan Assembly, in the north by the Trifo Himan Lower Dentra District, and to the south by the Infoho Wasa East District and Shama District, respectively. Their major economic activity in the constituency is fishing and crop farming. Honorable Dr. Stephen Nana Atu Asa was born on 24th December 1961 at Ebrim Brasi near Elmina in Commander Edna Eguafu Ebrim constituency. He attended St. Augustine's College, Cape Coast, for both O and A levels. He holds BSc in Engineering from South China Agri University, Guangzhou, MSc in Development Planning of Management from University of Dortmund and KNUST. He also holds a PhD in Development Studies from University of Bonn, Germany. He is a Catholic, married with three kids. Today, he is the MP for KEEA, a former DCE and Central Regional Minister. I realized that I could continue serving the good people commanded Negua Fabrim. So that inspired me to contest as a member of parliament for the area. The perception at the time was that parliament is only the chamber, business in the chamber. 
I've come to realize that it's far more than doing business in the chamber. Community work is a lot. Serving the people that earlier I mentioned of, to be able to engage your people, your constituents where you come from, those who voted for you, is a huge thing. Again, you contested on a podcast party. You have a role to play in that podcast party. So putting all together, I think that it is, it is a big, big, big job. How do you even lobby projects to go to your constituency? It's another area, uh, a big area that one needs to consider. How you'll be able to travel to and fro, Accra and your constituency. Today, you have an invitation, attend to this, attend to that, and you live in Accra. How do you do that? Are you able to marry all of them? These are things that uh, engages me as a member of parliament. You are also in parliament to have what you call oversight, political oversight responsibility on the executive. It's also done at the committee level. It's a huge work. Besides, how do you lobby projects to your constituency? How do you engage your constituents? That is also another area. And the fourth area, you contested on a ticket of a podcast party. You have a role to play in that podcast party. You need to continue nurturing that party in your constituency, support at the regional level and even at the national level. So if you're a member of parliament, you need to consider all these areas. And so the perception that was with me earlier on, talking about parliament being work only at the chamber, goes more than that. How do you work in parliament here without coping with your own standing orders? How do I see myself as a pious Catholic, as a Christian, without at least <laughs> knowing the basics of the Bible. So for me, yes, standing others quite conversant with our standing others. But I believe that it is only through one become very familiar with the standing others that we'll be able to perform in Parliament. And of course, the 1993 Constitution, you also need to know. I, I, I must say that uh, I've built on my skills in this parliament since the last uh, two and a half years here in parliament. We had five thematic areas. Local economic development and waste management as one. We had the fishing and the fishing harbor as two. We have waste management and drainage as three. Education and health. Since I came to Parliament, in trying to lobby projects in these areas, I need to have these thematic areas behind me. How are we building on what we did since the year 2001? 2015, within the next 99 days, will be ending. It's on the basis of this that all the world over, MDGs who move to sustainable development goals. My vision now is to how to engage my people again within the next couple of um, months to be able to look at what we've been able to achieve within these thematic areas and the way forward. Part of this work I'm doing in Parliament here, talking about lobbying projects, it's in these areas. How do I contribute in continuing the thematic areas where we set for our own selves. So work in Parliament is very challenging. You need, you know, be reading. You need to learn. You need to ask questions. There are people who have served here, you know, a couple of years. You need to approach them. If there's something that you find it difficult, that you don't understand, you need to get to them. All in the way of building one's capacity to be able to effectively and efficiently perform in Parliament.
you know, uh, in Ghana, you can't talk about um, local tourism without Elmina. Uh, Elmina is the hub of Ghana's tourism. And so it's one area that uh, concerns every uh, one from Elmina. A bridge over the uh, lagoon leading to the St. George's Castle, where a, a lot of tourists visit daily, had been a trouble area for us. Uh, at a point in time, the road had to be closed because the bridge had deteriorated. I came to Parliament and my first area of concern was to how to ensure that we get this bridge repaired. As I speak to you now, Chinese company is uh, working on the bridge. So that alone, we've been able to uh, kill uh, two birds with a stone, linking tourism with the fishing, with the construction of the bridge. Come to education, I realized that a number of uh, students from Commander Negua Fabrim, they will pass going to uh, senior high, they want to go to tertiary, universities, poly, nursing, nursing, college of education and others. They need support in the form of bursaries and scholarships. That has been one area that, that I've used much of my share or the MP share of Common Fund to do. You can't talk about youth development without linking it to education, without linking it to promotion of health, without linking it to our tourism industry, without linking it to sanitation. In the same area of education, go to one of our communities called Abe, close to Elmina. We are constructing a three classroom block. When I use we, uh, the community is supporting with their labor and I'm providing materials. So we are on that project. You go to another community, Abrim Barase, for instance, I'm working on a, a staff common room and other areas that we're supporting when it comes to education. When it comes to health, I'm putting up a chips compound at Abrimesiam. We um, supported Commander, um, that is the clinic, to do an expansion at the OPD. So when it comes to health, we're supporting people as far as um, the health insurance uh, premium is concerned. We are supporting in that area. So I must say that the work that we're doing now all fall within the five thematic areas that we set ourselves to uh, actually be our way of seeing development. And that is how we had the Almina 2015 strategy. To the people of Commander Edna Egoa for Abrim, I want to thank you sincerely. You've honored me. You voted for me to serve you in Parliament. As I earlier indicated, there is an unfinished business. Give me the opportunity for me to continue serving you. I'm ready for that. We hope the people of the KEE constituency who support their MP to better their lives. It is some malaria. We're drawing a time herbal mixture. And you know, cool. The only one to want me any deal. We're drawing a time herbal mixture. A dray. What bar what fell through? Do I'm not going to for any aqua that when you feel you know, want me and no a dray be. Kayo, set time on a T I M E. Time herbal mixture. A fee malaria fever. Be a dummy ziba. A woman to be Hmm. Look how they are doing. Oh, this generator is off again. I just bought a generator for this house. You see, these generators are not good. Buy green power generator. You never listen to me. What we need in this house is green power generator.
Thank you so much, my brother. Thank you so much. There you go, folks. Green power generators uses gas. It has longer engine life than others. They are free from carbon monoxide, no fuel blockage, very economical, and above all, is environmentally friendly. We have in stock industrial, commercial, and domestic generators. For distribution, purchases, and installation, contact First Green Energy Generators on 020-7711-877 or 0244-987-333. First Green Energy Generators, energy for innovation. This is all we have for you this week. Do make a day to task same time next week on GTV, the authentic and trusted voice of Ghana.